my rights, my rhymes, my grind, my struggle, hustle, sweat, and my blood too. I'm ready to smell fear, I smell a lot. My competitors flex here, they smelled I was hot. I want it all. Excess, the sex, and what success, stress us. I want it all, no less. Come on. T Bear and reaction today's Wrestle Wednesday. No, oh, I keep doing that. It's not Wrestle Wednesday. I'm almost was really going to do is Wrestle Wednesday, but I'm going to do it Saturday. I'm doing it today for Royal Rumble. This is Royal Rumble Reactions Part 1. We're going to check out another one from Far So Unknown. So we got to finish checking out 10 greatest, 10 of the greatest Iron Man performances and Iron Woman performances of Royal Rumble. Now we want to check out some funny moments with. 10, 15 greatest Royal Rumble comedy spots from Parson Known. You know, there's always been some comedy spots in Royal Rumble, whether it is crazy spot to keep himself from being eliminated, first some folks getting eliminated before even entering the Royal Rumble, or folks getting getting right into the Rumble and then get eliminated right away. So without further ado, let's check out 15 greatest Royal Rumble comedy spots of all time. Let's get it. When people think of the very best Royal Rumble moments in history, they may think of the returns of John Cena and Edge, or Paul London's flip bump in 05, or the tear in Ric Flair's eye, but many of the greatest moments to ever take place in the Countdown Rundown Showdown have been the funnies. Lots of WWE comedy spots fall flat on their beak, mostly because Vince McMahon has the worst sense of humor known to man, but thankfully comedy writing is very, very, very easy with zero stress involved whatsoever, or at least that's what Sullivan tells me. <laughs> Hmm. Here's what I'm doing. I'm doing late. I'm doing late night free today, but if you you're watching it on Saturday, but anyway, um, and I see that we got a different member from Parson from Parson right here, which most of them we've been seeing is from Adam. So now we got a different member. Me. Go watch Grubby Little Mitts. For clarity, this is going to be a list of pre-planned comedy spots rather than spontaneous moments of hilarity like Rusev becoming TV champion in 2016, Brock's dancing and overall presence in 2020, yeah. Johnny Knoxville getting his brains bashed in by AJ Styles in 2022, or Vince McMahon selling his knees to Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. I'm Tempest, hailing from Parts Fun Known, and these are the 15 greatest Royal Rumble comedy spots ever. And before we get on with our list, make sure, of course, that you're subscribed to Parts Fun Known so you don't miss any of the Royal Rumble content that has been filled Filling up the recommendations of all of our fine subscribers this month. You can hit that subscribe button, enable notifications, and you won't miss a single one, or else I'm going to throw you out of the ring. Honorable mention, Titus. Yeah, I know what I just of said, course. but come on now. Look at him trip. Who's to say of this course. wasn't an elaborate spot <laughs> pulled off to perfection by Titus? One of oh WWE. Oh my God, me and my wife was laughing our ass off when we saw that. <laughs> we just, because the first time we saw it, it was, they, 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 they had the angle right. They just they had the angle differently. You just saw him come out the down the ring, run down the ring, and then next thing you know, they show him under the ring, like, what the hell, he looking for something? And they show the replay, and he busts his ass. Oh my god, it was so hilarious. WWE's most finesse performers. <laughs> Look at him trip. 15, The War. Oh, yes. For 20 long years, The Warlord held the record for the shortest time spent in the Royal Rumble match. Up he steps, beats his chest, out he goes, his legacy defined forever, holding one of the worst Rumble records. The original Rumble comedy spot, and probably how most Ruthless Aggression era children were introduced to The Warlord, because where would we be without the By the Numbers video? 14, the Bushwhacker Walk. walk yeah. You won't find many Bushwhacker fans here at PFK Labs. Maybe just Dave Bradshaw. They licked his head once. But the moment <laughs> in the 1991 Royal Rumble match where Bushwhacker Luke walks to the ring like he's trying to air dry his soaking wet arms, is walked across the ring by Earthquake, is deposited on the outside, and returns to the back all in one motion is a job well done. It's pro wrestling ridiculousness to a T. Also, Bushwhacker Luke has more five-star matches than Kurt Angle. Don't know why I felt compelled to share that fact. I just felt chaotic today. 13. Guys. Scaredy too hot. 
Scotty Too Hottie is a wrestler blessed with an extremely expressive face. It's the eyes, Chico, they never lie. Usually, Scotty's eyes would be screaming excitement about doing everyone's favorite 1920s funk dance, but in the 2001 Royal Rumble, those eyes told a very different story. If you were to draw number 26 in the Rumble, you'd probably like those odds. But when you're Scotty Too Hottie and the only people waiting to greet you are Kane and The Undertaker, well, then you get this slow, terrified <laughs> entrance as Scotty slowly accepts his fate while still dancing. The look, the dance, superb. 12. Hell? Hell no. Kane and Daniel oh, yeah. Bryan had tremendous comedic chemistry together during their run as a team, and at the 2013 Royal Rumble, they had another of their best frenemies moments. Bryan dumps Kane out of the ring because he was always the little bastard of the duo, but immediately afterwards, Bryan himself was ejected from the ring, landing in the waiting arms of his recently betrayed partner. They stare longingly into each other's eyes as the crowd becomes a frenzy. Bryan demands to be put back in the ring, and for a moment it looked like Kane would comply, only to drop Bryan, resulting in this <laughs> yeah. perfect reaction action shot. Daniel Bryan, still one of the funniest wrestlers of all time. You hear him talk about bears? crazy. Number 11, Vicky Wait, Guerrero oh, is excused. Yeah. <laughs> you know who people really this hated in 2008? Vicky Guerrero. You know what it's people really race. hated excuse hearing me, in 2008? Me. Vicky Guerrero screeching, excuse me. In 2018, for the first the ever- The close second one was, if they show it, is, is it in here? Is, is it in here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it in here? Go back. Just want to see something real quick if it's in here before or not. If not, D, I got to mention it. The funniest, other funniest one was Irie in a right to censor gimmick. I think it was last. That was last year for a moment. Cause Kevin, Kevin did talking and while talking, talking to anybody got thrown out right out. It was so hilarious. Ever women's Royal Rumble, the one 20, that was 20, 20, surprises. 20. All of the women involved 20, 20. decided that yep. they just weren't going to tolerate Vicky's fury and all ganged up to eliminate her in the safest <laughs> way possible. There aren't a lot of expertly planned spots in the first women's Royal Rumble, but this was certainly one of them, giving the crowd the biggest laugh of the match. What a way to come in and get paid. Walk out, scream, walk back, check please. What a genius. 10. Announcers pretending. And Lord. now here we have a moment so funny they had to do it twice. Yep. WWE's commentary has not been its strong suit for a long time. Other commentary highlights from Rumble's past have included Matt Stryker alerting us all that Booker T's return was a mark out moment. I'm marking out, bro. And well, they'll never be able to get the big show over the top rope. While we often spend time wishing we could forget what the commentators say, this is an example of the commentators wishing we could forget what we saw. In 1997, Jerry Lawler entered the Rumble from the commentary position, only to be promptly right. eliminated by Bret Hart, landing on his face and returning to the desk, pretending the whole way that nothing had happened. While 50 15 years later, yep. JBL did precisely the same thing. the same thing in 2012, with both men practicing the philosophy of if you pretend it didn't happen, maybe everyone will just forget. Yeah. Number 9. CM Punk saves the yep. Royal Rumble. CM Punk's run as the straight edge savior on SmackDown was superb, but the most fun times we got were when Punk would interrupt a match's scheduled proceedings to provide a sermon to try and save the filthy yep. masses watching, and in this case, wrestling him. Punk enters third and eliminates Evan Bourne and Dolph Ziggler, grabbing a microphone and being his Charles Manson Punk self. Then Zack Ryder made his entrance, only for Punk to tell him that he could be saved before bopping him on the head. The whole sermon was a ton of fun, but Zack Ryder getting bopped on the head like a field mouse was peak slapstick comedy in a great rumble number eight otis saves man yep. if anything is going to save you in a royal rumble match i don't care what anybody said i love this little love story right here as well too man then they did both of them well get him oldest dirty in in the way manny someone didn't do for the hill fans man they get done dirty she got done better in nxt but later on she did get dirty by the, how she got released as well be true love. It is still wild to believe this that the best storyline story going into I WrestleMania 36 was this the was Otis so Mandy good. Dolph love triangle. Along the way, that Shakespearean romance took a number of turns, with one such moment coming in the 2020 Royal Rumble. The women's rumble, that is. Mandy was booted off the apron and appeared for all the world that she'd been eliminated, only for the camera to reveal mm -hmm. that Otis had slid out from under the yep. ring to use his wide base to save Mandy from hitting the floor. Yep. Otis is an entertaining fellow, and even though I'm sure he could I, manage it, I, I, uh, I think they're on turn face with him and uh Chad Gable because they've been doing a lot of face they've been doing some um face like uh persona recently though so I feel they're gonna turn face pretty soon man I can't wait real test but he couldn't save Mandy and Sonya from elimination shortly thereafter maybe it wasn't meant to be at all we did just kind of never hear about them again after a while mm. number seven Ambrose and Ellsworth oh, for just a bomb Ellsworth. this is far from funny but as a payoff to a month's long story yeah this is pretty great Dean Ambrose had taken Smackdown's homeless turn 
Hurdle, James Ellsworth, under his wing in 2016, helping Ellsworth to get a few cheap wins over AJ Styles, mm -hmm. only for Ellsworth to turn on Dean because Ellsworth actually thought that he could actually beat AJ clean. He didn't, and by the time the Royal Rumble came, it was time for Dean to get some payback. Ellsworth enters to face Braun Strowman, the man that squashed him in the first place, mm -hmm. making his chinless face go viral, and then Ambrose entered behind him as Ellsworth had yet to enter the ring. Dean said, let's go in on three, and proceeded to watch Ellsworth be fed to a grizzly bear. <laughs> a grizzly bear not content with just tearing no, him to shreds, but choke slamming him over the top rope to the floor. That's a murder. He, he's dead. He's killed him. <laughs> Number six, Billy Kay for hire. After the oh, ill-advised yeah. breakup oh. of the Iconics, Billy Kay- I remember the- Oh, man. The Billy Kay for hire thing was going- was, was She was getting over it, though, man. I was kind of hoping they made her face out of it, but they did. He tried to offer her services to anyone who would listen to her. One such time, perhaps also ill-advised, considering the stakes involved, Billy, was during the 2021 Royal Rumble match. Rather than entering the ring, Billy Kay, another very entertaining individual, elected to instead hand oh, out- Oh, yeah. They're not in any company. I would like to have them come back as a surprise to the women were rumble either one or both of them resumes to all the entrants as they passed her none of them took her up on it but maybe mickey james saved one and gave it to impact later that year i felt mean i didn't i didn't like that don't fire people during a pandemic y'all number five yeah. there's a light breeze coming through Triple H's return for the 2002 Royal Rumble match was pretty legendary. His Madison Square Garden return on Raw remains the best denim on yes. denim look in WWE history, but when he walked to the ring to stand face to face with former frenemy Steve Austin, it didn't feel like things could get any better. Then we got one of the best comedy spots in Rumble history. Rather than following Triple H with someone like a Kurt Angle, the Hurricane made his Royal Rumble debut, sizing up the game and the Rattlesnake and trying to choke slam both of them at the same time. He totally succeeded, totally won, and totally beat Chris Jericho at WrestleMania. But also in this timeline, Trips and Steve no sell being goozled and immediately eliminate mm. the tropical storm like it was a light breeze. Number four. Where's the briefcase? Oh, Adam Blompier's favorite wrestler, R Truth, has <laughs> completely misses a comedian in WWE. I know Adam won't like to hear that his favorite wrestler, R Truth, has had misses, but it is true. Thankfully, Adam's favorite wrestler, R Truth, had. And hopefully he's doing better with his injury, but one of this his is best so funny. In the Royal Rumble match in 2016, having never recovered from being mentally shattered by losing to John mm -hmm. Morrison in 2011 happens to all of us really adam's favorite wrestler r-truth pulled a ladder from under the ring climbed it looked up and loudly asked <laughs> where's the brief <laughs> i also get money in the bank in the royal rumble confused the matches are very similar number three poor oh, Heath slayer oh, no one yeah. likes a sore loser especially when it's baron corbin corbin did not take well to being eliminated within minutes of the start of the 2018 royal rumble and took that frustration out on poor oh Heath yeah slayer, making his entrance oh, yeah. just oh yeah oh Yes, I remember that. He he beat his ass, and then he tried. Everybody, every time, every time he tried to get back into the ring, see we can knock him down. And the funny part, well, we'll see. Trying to earn a way to WrestleMania to feed all nineteen thousand of his kids. I wrote nineteen. I don't know why I said nineteen thousand, but hey, maybe by now all the heels give Heath a boot or something on their way to the ring. Big E helps Heath carve load for the match. What a lovely man! He is. <laughs> the spot lasted like a third of the match, and then finally Sheamus took the initiative to get Heath into the match properly. Going to eliminate him. Spot to be paid off perfectly with Heath eliminating the White Warrior in seconds wow. on his birthday. Number two, Santino wasn't good. Oh, for hey, 20 yep. long years, the Warlord held the record for the shortest time spent in a Royal Rumble match. That was until 2009. Santino Morella has a pretty interesting track record in and Royal Rumble. Shout out to him being the new deputy of authority, the deputy of the authority on Impact Wrestling. For matches, 2008, he goes face to face with Taker and HBK before posing and eating a super kick. 2011, he almost won the thing. 2012, he had a sock puppet duel with Mick Foley that was long listed mm -hmm. for this one. He is awful in the 2020 Women's Rumble. And then there is this, this perfection. From the precision <laughs> required to actually be eliminated in just one second, to the I, impeccable I camera work it. capturing Santino's face immediately after, to the classic, I wasn't ready. This yes. is one of the best Royal Rumble moments, full stop. However, if you want pure comedy, who better to look to than a true comedian? Number one, Drew Carey. The 2001 Royal Rumble is a perfect piece of Attitude Era wrestling. Yes. This match from start to finish is a joy, and it has a number of great comedic moments peppered throughout, including one we've already mentioned, but nothing compares to the payoff of the night's show long mm -hmm. angle, Drew Carey competing in the Royal Rumble match. And he Both lasted. The Hardys find themselves a little. And he lasted, and he, pretty, and he lasted pretty long too the poor smile like him he got he got lost it from the match 
matches, Drew Carey makes his entrance and you can isolate any bit of this. Drew's reaction to seeing Kane. Drew hopping the top rope yep. to escape. But watching Drew Carey try to pay off the biggest and reddest of monsters in the middle of the ring in a Royal Rumble match is a Royal Rumble funny that has yet to be topped. Mm -hmm. And that's our list. Make sure, of course, that you and like this video. Subscribe. It. Uh and do you have it right there? Comedy spots. So who can have some comedy spots? And this for a rumble as well, too. We can't wait to see, though. Other than that, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T-Bear signing off. One love.